Hi everybody, this is a super quick video to show you how to take to Design Space this um, SVG which has been around a while now but I've never made a video for it before it was one of the very early ones I made um, it's to make these vase boxes the sort, the sort of thing you might use to make a bouquet of maybe flowers, dried flowers but also um, I, this was made originally for a wax melt bouquet and you can make it for a bouquet with chocolates or other things that you put on stems and arrange like a bouquet. So with this you get two files in the bundle and they both have the same base and the same neck opening but as you can see from this picture one is um, about five centimetres taller than the other one. Uh, so you've just got the option of a, a taller or a shorter vase. Um, yeah, that's the neck decoration. They both have that floral cut out on the, the cuff that goes around the neck um, and it's a six-sided vase box. So it's really stable, a little bit more stable than um, perhaps some of the four-sided ones, I think. And because it's cut in uh, six walls and one base, you can actually make this really big if you just enlarge your SVG and make it on bigger paper. As it is, it will cut from A4. Right, so let's bring it into design space and see what we're talking about. So, vase number one is the shorter version. Again, as I said, they're both the same base, same neck width, but vase number one is just the shorter vase. So, bring it in. And the first thing to do, as always, with any multi-part file that's got score lines, is you need to convert those scores that come in as cuts in design space but which we want to be scores we can't make them come in already set to B score lines unfortunately so mine always live in that first subgroup in the layers panel so if you click on that second line down in your layers panel that's the title of the group and it selects everything in it then you go to your operations menu click on basic cut and choose score from the drop down and you can see that they've been converted now. And because there's more than one set, we need to ungroup them so that later on we can attach them individually. For me, I'm using the desktop version for PC. Ungroup is at the top of the layers panel. Then you need to select the group below, which contains all the cut pieces and any cuts in within them. And all you need to do there is ungroup. And then just ungroup a third time that overall group that the SVG is still in. You do that by selecting everything on canvas. And you can do that by clicking right at the top of your layers panel or using maybe this select all button or just dragging a button, uh, dragging a box, pardon me, around everything. However you do it, once everything's selected, do that third ungroup. And so now everything on screen is a separate piece. As you can see, the scores will all move separately, uh, but we don't want them to, obviously. So now we need to attach the score lines to the individual pieces that they relate to. Got to do it individually, um, otherwise you won't be able to duplicate later on. The reason I only give you one wall section is you would have to do that attaching and ungrouping and grouping six times. So I think it's easier just to give you one piece and then once you've um, did I do that a bit quickly? The quickest way to do it, click on canvas, somewhere near a piece, drag a box to enclose it and click attach, which for me is at the bottom of the layers panel. If you're on the app, it'll be somewhere else. That one's attached, yeah. Right, so once you've done that, obviously it's a six-sided vase. You need six walls. So duplicate is just at the top of the layers panel here or you can do uh, control D on your keyboard or however you do it on your app. So we've got one two three four i'm using the keyboard there i'll use this now five six it's just that little symbol up there with the plus sign in it okay <clears throat> and i will hit make it and as i said you can cut this vase um entirely from a4 if you want to let's just have a look at that and i think if you take another wall and assuming your pattern your card pattern will allow it we'll click move and we'll put it on that one and if I spin it round whoops a daisy yeah yes look you'll get two on an A4 so that's nice and economical isn't it um so your six walls would go on three A4s and your base is on another that's the short of ours Okay, 
not going to cut it so I'll just delete it and we'll bring in a taller one now. So again the first job you've got to do is convert the score line so you're going to click on that second line down in your layers panel to select that first subgroup, go to your operations menu, click on basic cut and choose score from the drop down and now because there's more than one set we've got to ungroup them. Then select the group below that's got all the cuts in it and ungroup that. Then select the whole thing and ungroup a third time. And now we can attach the scores. So click on canvas somewhere near a piece to select one piece and its scores and attach. So you can see everything moves together then and everything cuts and scores on the same mat. And now just as before we need six walls. So two, three, four, five, six. I'm using the duplicate button there several different ways to do it. Click make it. Um, we could still choose A4. I'm not sure if we can get two on a page anymore but we'll try. So we'll move that one and we'll pop it there. Let's just see. I don't think so. No. Can't get two of the tall of ours from an A4. So you would need six A4s for this or um, you can choose letter obviously as well. Six sheets of letter or six sheets of A4. Yes, the base goes on letter as well. All right, so that's it. It's pretty simple really. Um, the size at which this SVG should come into Design Space is all given in the PDF of instructions that you get that shows you how to assemble it, but it really is a lovely, super quick vase to assemble and very strong indeed once it's made you can put some beautiful product bouquets in these or indeed a lovely display of dried flowers if you have any questions when you come to cut or assemble it please don't hesitate to get in touch i'm always happy to help no question is a silly one we we've all done it um lots of people have helped me in the past and and i'm more than willing to do the same the way to get in touch is in the description below you can contact me on etsy or facebook whichever you prefer and if you've just stumbled across this svg this video and you'd like to buy the svg the link to do that is also in the description thanks a lot bye